Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Gardening. Um, today I'm just going to show you, this is my guava tree. It's doing great, sending out new shoots um, from when I purchased it earlier this spring. I didn't know if it was going to make it or not, but it definitely has gotten healthier and bigger. I think it probably has double in its uh, growth. So I think this is all new growth right here. And then of course I'm getting more new growth right here at the tip of it and some of them are sending out two you can see I cropped the top off right here because I actually didn't want it to get too tall where I'm not gonna be able to reach the fruit and then have the fruit go bad so I'm hoping that it'll grow more as a, a dwarf size but I don't think it'll ever reach its full height they could get 15 20 feet but I have it in a pot because I garden in zone 8a um, so it knows it doesn't have the room to grow to its potential so it should keep it to a manageable size and I garden zone 8a and the guava tree is more for garden zone 9 through 11 so if you're in zone 9 through 11 you can plant it outside and leave it outside but if you're anything below 9 it's gonna have to come in because of some of the freezing temperature um, right now you could see it is suffering from I think these are, I want to say mites. See these soft looking thing and then you can see um, an ant right next to it. So they provide like sapling, kind of just like the aphids. They provide saplings for the ants and then the ants keep them, you know, happy and healthy and alive when they fend off all the other predators that might come and eat them. So what I'm going to do, I just have this alcohol 75%. Um, I put in this little cup and I'm going to use Q-tips and just troubleshoot the area a little bit just so it keeps it under control. Now if it was really bad, I would have to really go and get it treated. So right here, see this little white guy right here? You want to just knock them off and you see they're like actually a little dark let me see if I can zoom in there's like a little dark creature I don't know right there I don't know if it will zoom in because of let me take it see um, I did a couple leaves already and you can see it over here they're probably unhappy with me over here see I already did some already over here and then you get these little creatures that are underneath that white that you see. But you kind of have to keep it under control. It can get out of control just like any aphids. See, you see them right there in that white little area. And it's hard to reach some of them. But you just got to look. Make sure you get it. And get the little guy that is underneath it. Um, mine is not too bad as of right now. Looks like a bird poop right there. So it still looks healthy. It doesn't look too bad. But you can see some of the leaves are a little bit warped. Here's a group of them over here. See that? Oh, okay. Well, that leaf's coming off. Here. That's okay because I can do a better sampling of what they look like. They kind of look like little roly-poly, white little roly-poly. See, there's a big one and a little one right there. So what you want to do is just go in. Sorry, it's hard to do this one-handed. And you just scrape it out. And basically you kill whatever's in there. But, can you see that? It's hard to get the camera to zoom in. But yeah, you go in and you kill it. It's kind of disgusting and grotesque, but I want my tree to prosper and do what it needs to do to grow. So mainly they're on the underside, underneath of the leaf, the underside of the leaf. You can see here, there's a couple more right there. And you can see it. I mean, they stick out like a sore thumb. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while I hold it, so it is a little more difficult. So it's like right there. Just gotta get in there and scrub it off. And this is just your alcohol 
disinfectant. You could also use neem oil. I have some neem oil, but it doesn't look bad enough that I really need to treat it. Here's a little one right here. You see them? See them? They're like, they look like roly polies, but just a white form of them. So let me see if I can do this so you can see it. I need something to hold this like an extra hand. <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna work. I'm not sure. Here, let me go on the underside. Here's the underside of it. You gotta go in, scrub it off. And get it all the way off. And then reapply, re-soak, do whatever you need to do. So you gotta look at underneath there's one right here. You see him? And there's another one right here. It's harder to see it on the camera, so I'm uh, sorry. It's not very clear. Sometimes they sit on a tree branch, so just go in and get them. And it's not too bad. Oh, here's some right here. Wipe them. This one actually look a little bit more than a couple. You guys see them? Will it zoom in there? There you go. Oh, it wants to zoom in on that bottle. Just go in and scrape them off. Be careful with the ants. So I have, an, uh, I react to ant bites. I blow up like a balloon. And they've only bitten me on my ankles, so I have a lot of elephantitis. If y'all know what that is, Google it. It's where your ankles swell up and you no long ha longer have an ankle. I'm glad it's not a permanent situation, but it's a sight especially on my little frame. I'm about five foot. That's about it, five foot. And that's a, the smaller five foot size. <laughs> so I'm just going in here, making sure that I get most of it. There's a couple right there. And if I get the ants too, that's great. There's some right there. So this is how you, this is how I troubleshoot it. It's really quick and easy. Like they said, it's more preventative. If you can catch them before they get overwhelming, it won't be as bad. Once it gets to where it's overwhelming, then you've got to use stronger methods of insecticides to help control it. And some people don't want to do that, you know, use the heavier insecticide, which is fine. It's to each their preference. And I wouldn't be opposed to using insecticide if this gets out of hand because I want to make sure that my tree survive but if I can treat it beforehand and prevent it then of course I would here's another one right there let me just scrub 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 can you see that this is so hard to do with just one hand I almost need a cameraman or a woman to assist me. Here. Okay, there we go. I got it. And then let's look at some of these ones. There's one right there. You see them? Oh. This is 
not as easy as it looks it is easier when you don't have to videotape what you are doing <laughs> see there's a whole bunch of little tiny ones right there I don't want to focus right there but there we go And I think that's about it. I mean, that's just troubleshooting it. It's really quick and easy. And I usually check on these about once a week. I check on this tree about once a week. Sometimes a little bit more, but at this point in time, it's not too bad. Look at all this new growth. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm hoping by next year, I'll have some guava. To me, I think guava reminds me of like an apple. But it just has a different taste. But the texture is similar. Uh, the seed, of course, on the inside is a little bit different. So once I get some fruiting, I will definitely show you what it looks like. This leaf looks like something else been eating at it, you can see. And that one, too. So I wonder what's been eating at it. It's leaving little holes. So something else has been eating this one because it's half missing. But overall, the health of it looks good. And it's weird because it's only the guava that has attracted the mites. Like, um, I have this um, avocado. And it's doing good. Like, it's sending up new shoots. Doing its own thing. And nothing has bothered it at all. And then over here is my mayor's lemon, sing, sending out new shoots and everything. I don't expect it to, of course, give me anything this year because the year is drawing to an end. But by next year, I think all of my trees are going to produce something. The strawberries, look at this, you guys. I don't know what's going on, but this strawberry is not pleased with me. It's like dying on me. I did go to Texas to visit my sister for like four days so I was gone for almost a week and I don't know I, I don't know if it got overly dried but the others look fine as you can see and then this one I wanted to show you real quick so this one was creating a baby over the side like this and I saw it yesterday so then I try to put it back in the soil but you can see it's starting to root even without soil which is pretty impressive I didn't even know it would do that. It was just hanging over the side just like this and doing its own thing and I don't know why or how it was able to sustain these little roots but I decided I'm gonna put it here in the soil and kind of let it touch the soil a little bit so it can grow some more for next year and then the uh, sweet potato that I planted in these um, container look I mowed one day and I forgot to move this so these got all dirty over here so I gotta wipe it off but look at them isn't that crazy they're like growing like crazy over here so it's just doing its thing look at how long it is it's like reaching all the way over here so I'm pretty excited but you guys it's pretty amazing when you watch what you put in the ground what it does for you so those are some of my plants. I'm still waiting for my greenhouse, which we've delivered, which we bought on Amazon. It's just a small little greenhouse for me to house all of the fruit trees and vegetables through the winter. Um, this is a tomato plant that I grew from a cutting. You can see over here, I should probably have stuck this more into the ground where it has now developed a callus. But that's my tomato plant. It was a little bit stressed from no water, so I just watered it today. But yeah, that's about it for today. That was all my job, my chore that I was going to do for today. Is just getting rid of the mites on the guava tree. There's one right there. I mean, they they're easily to they're easily spottable. They can be easily spotted. <laughs> If you really just look at the underside of your plants. And I've noticed when I retransplanted it, I thought it was straight. 
but it is like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I have to like go like this to make the tree straight. So if I go like this, the tree is lopsided. I hate to mess around with the root balls, but I really should restake it back up before it gets too large and then it becomes unbending and unyielding. And then I won't be able to move it and then it's gonna grow sideways. Like there's a whole bunch of ants over here. Oh, I got an ant on me. The quick movement is when I have an ant on me. <laughs> I gotta get it off. Otherwise my hand will blow up like a balloon. Like you know how you see those latex gloves that you put air in and you blow it up? Yeah. That's what my my uh, allergic reaction does. It makes me bloom up. So I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you have a great evening and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.